We think these are funds that we are in crisis. These are funds that has to be looked at. When I say here, my friend, you understand what I mean. Uh, yeah, the statutory funds. We have to look at it because we are in crisis. And these are issues that we, collectively we must look at and see how we can cut it. Fiscal expenditure. We can cut those funds to ensure that whatever levels that we have, to, we, are, we are to have as an, a, a country and an economy reach there. Look, I, are you not trying to create a problem? The Red Minister of Finance puts a cap on statutory funds. Now you are calling for another cut. Well, if some of the statutory funds are not relevant in view of the situation we find ourselves, why should we not cut it? Which funds are not relevant? MPs, MPs Common Fund. Meaning what? Meaning what you mean? We have listened to the voices of these individuals. Somebody goes uh, 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 goes on redundancy, whatever it is that he receives, he puts it in government bonds. Somebody is in business, and whatever profit he has uh, accrued over time, he puts it into government bonds. And they are dependents for all these people. So if he, it's affecting one person, it's not just one person, it's affecting, it has ripple effects on a whole families, whole communities, workforce of uh, institutions and all of that. So it is important that mm. governments look, looks at it again and exempts them. Mm. And I think that um, there have been certain sentiments raised um, within um, the, the, the population that, oh, we have led them to their fate and all of that. But organized labor is aware of this fact and what we some of us are calling for is that government should exempt them right. from this this whole program so that um we can we can have some peace and peace. and and we want to assure them we support them fully in whatever actions they they take in this regard That's